Hello everyone and welcome to your second royal reading of today here at Mad World Tarot. And this one it follows on some quite startling comments that very senior people have been making about the Parkles. We had the effing grifters one, then we had the talentless one about Megan. And now Samantha Markle's lawyer, Peter Tickton, has come out and said that Meghan Markle ran a calculated psyop to land a prince and is most probably a sociopath. Harsh words from a lawyer who's involved obviously in the court case, Samantha suing Meghan Markle for defamation. It's an ongoing saga and the courts in, is it in Florida? I've forgotten. Um, but uh, curious that he should take a risk like this and say something which is potentially defamatory, uh, which he could jump on and sue. Um, he and it's been reported by Jack Royston in Newsweek. Jack Royston, very much a Parkle spokesperson, a bit like Omid. Um, so I don't know the context. I don't know when and where he said this, if it was in an interview or if it was in court papers. Makes a big difference depending on where he said it, obviously, and I haven't been able to figure that out. Not that I have done hours of research to try and find out, I have to say. And while I'm saying things like that, um, let's remind you it's tarot for fun and entertainment because we're talking about lawyers and defamation. It's all my opinion. It's all speculation. I'm reading energy here, archetypal energy. And disclaimer in the box below, I've got the Shadowland tarot on the tarot table for this one uh, because we're looking at shadow aspects of a personality, potentially, allegedly. Um, he said that he's not certain of her diagnosis. So he did make his own disclaimer, of course. And if you can hear scratching, that's a Fluffy who's shown up for this reading. She couldn't be bothered with the previous one, but this one has got her attention. Um, but he believes, again, uh, not diagnosing, he believes that she could be a psychopath, a sociopath or a narcissist in one of those personality disorder type things. But he says most probably a sociopath. So that's how it went. Uh, Valentine Lowe, as Jack Royston carries on in his article, Valentine Lowe in his book Courtiers um, wrote that Buckingham uh, Palace staff called Meghan Markle a narcissistic sociopath. Uh, that was in light of the bullying claims as the uh, Sussex Survivors Club, as they called themselves. Uh, Valentine Lowe bro broke that story. There's never been any clapback. There's never been litigation. There's never been lawyers' letters about any of that. So th there is, uh, there is um, precedent for um, uh, alleging that Meghan Markle is a sociopath and narcissist. Sociopath is the one we're going to look at today as I shuffle the cards. A sociopath, again, according to Jack Royston's article, is someone who shows no regard for right or wrong and consistently ignores the rights and feelings of others. So I think we can all say that there might be some uh, justification for speculating that Meghan Markle has sociopathic tendencies. And uh, we're going to look at this now. Nine card reading, I'm going to look at this man's, this lawyer's uh, opinion of Meghan Markle, what he really thinks of her, why he did this, uh, made this very uh, dramatic claim. Uh, is it for the purposes of the court case to say, oi, to the judge, you need to wake up, see that she's manipulative? How does Megan feel? Is she going to sue? What's she going to do? What's her response going to be? Uh, we're going to talk about her uh, personality, her uh, uh, potentially alleged, all of those words, personality disorder. What can the universe tell us about it? Did she run a psyop to land a prince? And then our outcome. We're going to look at both of them. We're going to look at the outcome for Peter Tickton uh, and the court case. And we're going to look at the outcome for Megan. How's it going to go down? What's going to happen? Uh, very strange times we live in that people are coming out, starting with, I think, South Park. And now people are no longer... Uh, holding their tongues about their true feelings about Meghan and Harry. This one, of course, is just about Meghan coming from Samantha Markle's lawyer, Meghan's half-sister, who she denied uh, in Oprah interview. And um, that has led to all kinds of trouble subsequently. So there are our nine cards, Shadowland Tarot. 
and uh, let's see what we've got here we've got the four of swords as the underlying energy of this reading the four of swords is somebody who needs to go away for a while and um, take some time out and rest and have a think and wonder what they did wrong and how things have gone so badly wrong and perhaps there is some culpability in the way things have turned out uh, but it's uh it's a need to go away and be quiet. And I don't think it's Jack, it's Peter Tickton who needs to go away and be, be quiet. I'm getting this energy consistently here on this channel. Um, in my readings, uh, the energy that's coming through for me, from universe, through the cards, that Megan is the one who needs to go away and uh, contemplate the ruin of her life and her reputation. So it's interesting that the Four of Swords has shown up as the underlying energy that, as I said in my preamble, my rather lengthy preamble, a lot of people now seem to feel free to uh, say it like it is as far as their opinions go and uh, so the overall situation what are we dealing with today here we are dealing with the four of pentacles that is control um, a need for stability a need for control and it can be a mental health card um, mental issues card the four of pentacles um, uh, trying very hard to control narratives, control situations, um, control outcomes, not crack up, not disintegrate, not go crazy, not fall apart. That is the four of pentacles. We've got two fours here. Um, fours are about um, stability, but they always come before the fives and the fives are change and disintegration and cataclysm um, catalysts that uh, cause tremendous change and breakdown so we, we could be tending towards a five here in this reading um, just saying so let's look at Peter Tickton now what does he really think about Meghan Markle according to the cards uh, we got the emperor in reverse interesting <laughs> there's another four just by the way it's major arcana four now um, Emperor in reverse, a couple of things spring to mind. First of all, it is that controlling, manipulating, managing energy again. Um, being over controlling, dominating, the Emperor in reverse is a narcissist. Uh, according to Tarot, it's uh, for ego that's gone wrong. Normally male ego, but everyone has ego and everyone has potential to uh, be narcissistic. Um, and there it is. Uh, so the card has literally come out with a major arcana, narcissistic card, the emperor. It's also about controlling um, men because the emperor would be Harry, her husband. And there it is. He's talking about a psyop to land a prince. There it is, emperor in reverse. So quite a few things coming through in that card. It's a big card and he has very strong views on Meghan Markle. I should imagine Samantha has told him some quite... Um, hair-raising stories uh, about Megan and uh, her uh, personality and what she has done. Um, so why? Why this? Why come out and make this claim? This potentially defamatory and claim risky? We've got page of cups in reverse. It's an emotional um, play with a page of cups in reverse. Um, and uh, there is speculation, again, that this might be done to gain momentum, to steer news stories, to build a kind of energy, um, seemingly, I won't say harmless, with the page of cups in reverse. Page of cups in reverse is upset, it's emotional. Um, could be um, that um, there is, a, people around who are upset that um, he feels the need to say something so it could be that it's coming from family members or people around him I'm not going to speculate who precisely that he's funneling their energy out into the world um, but it could also be because it's communication a page is communication it could also be just the low grade very um, low key uh, media manipulation, sowing a seed of a story out into the world so that it grows and it builds and it might land. Um, it, it's a bit like putting a bottle, a message in a bottle, throwing it in the sea, landing on a beach and it might I hope that it lands on a very particular beach while a very particular person is sunbathing on the beach. Um, it's that kind of energy from that page of cups. Uh, it's not nearly as manipulative and strategic as it could be. 
Just saying. There are cards in the tarot that would be much more manipulative and strategic and I have to make that very clear. There is emotion here and there is an emotional need to get this message out. People who have been hurt, wounded, offended, upset, belittled, besmirched. Um, so let's go to Megan now and see how she feels about this. Being accused of being uh, potentially a sociopath. Here comes the five. Five of Pentacles. Um, it is destabilizing for her. It is a feeling like an outcast. Uh, very much a, a very good depiction of the Five of Pentacles, in my opinion, in this tarot deck, the Shadowland tarot, because it shows somebody who doesn't understand how the normal, uh, normal families and groups function which isn't normally what the Five of Pentacles shows. It normally shows people who've been cut off from warmth and hospitality and abundance and affluence and, you know, in with the big, the top, the, the high table, shall we say. Um, but this shows it more specifically as being left out of the fun, the community, the understanding of what it's like to be human. Um, and for somebody who might be on the spectrum in any of these particular personality disorders, it, it must be quite isolating and alienating to think, well, I don't feel those emotions. They all talk about whatever and I don't feel whatever. Um, I have to cosplay. I have to adopt uh, or take on people's stories, people's narratives, pretend and put a mask on because I don't know what it really feels like. I don't re know what it really is. I don't have my own stories to tell. There it is. Um, it, it's quite a profound feeling there i'm almost sorry but not for her when i see a card like that then i get a sense of what is going on in her personality just me reading energy here intuitively um let's see what she's going to do about this if anything what is she going to do knight of wands she's going to send um she's going to send her minions out it's not necessarily legal the Knight of Wands. It's more PR. It's more getting people to come out and say, oh, uh, poor Megan, she's such a lovely person. We've already seen it because that Jill Ishkanian, I don't really know how to say her surname. Apologies to her for mispronouncing it if I have. And uh, the photographer who was coincidentally at the farmer's market when Megan was there with that giant doormat that she was carrying around. Um, uh, she's come out now and said, oh, Megan, you know, the press are afraid of Megan. She's got them all running, terrified of her. But she was so nice and so down to earth and humble and so kind to all the people at the market. She's got her people out fighting for her. I think we're going to see uh, messages. I don't think she's going to take this one directly on. And possibly, and this is my own very wild speculation, she can't afford to. And it might be that our lawyer friend knows this because he would know quite a lot right now about her financial situation um, if he's involved in litigation with her. Um, that it, he might feel quite safe to say these things at an emotional level, knowing that all her, the best thing that she can do is to clap back through PR, puff pieces in the media. It's not the justice card. It's not um, swords battling. It's media, uh, Knight of Wands, send a, a knight, a hero to the rescue. Somebody will come out and fight her corner for her like Nacho did in the reading I've just done. I wonder who it will be. As I say, we've already seen one come out and say what a lovely person she is. And I uh, just happened to be there uh, with her camera. And um, yeah, so let's look at Megan's state of mind now, just for fun and entertainment purposes, not diagnosing. Uh, what is the situation with her? What does universe want to tell her? Another four. Four, four, four. Um, again, this is a struggle for stability. It's this, this feeling of not feeling. The four of cups. It's being untouched by things really indifferent apathetic can't really get excited somebody who might tend towards depression and she has said things about spending the day in bed with a bottle of wine and a baguette or whatever it was she uh, had to sort of nibble on for the day um uh, somebody who who feels different who feels un misunderstood the four of cups can have that feeling of needs not being met it's not cray cray it's not the moon 
It's not, uh, what else, the Nine of Wands, the cards that contend toward in that direction, but it's, it's being other. It's just being other. It's, it's not having the regular empathy and insight that normal people do. Um, and you're not allowed to say normal people, so whatever it is. Um, I've forgotten what the woke term now is it for. It, 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 the woke term is for saying you are divergent. She's divergent. There we go. Universe has told us uh, that uh, for the sake of a tarot reading, she is divergent and she knows it at some level. She's uncomfortable with it. Did she um, conduct a calculated psyop to land a prince, as Peter Tickton speculates or alleges? Uh, what we, we've got the wow, okay, the world. Uh, there, we, there she is in her red shoes and her red dress and her bat wings and the uh, the uh, the world successful completion of a task yes it's a very loud yes it's a very forceful yes it's a very successful yes um with the world card upright she got the publicity the uh, notice the attention the 30 million pound wedding um the uh, of the news channels that fixate on her, the little YouTube community that I'm part of and you are part of watching this that fixates on her because we're mesmerized by the story of how six on the cool sheet uh, uh, cable TV actress on a not a, exactly a hit show filmed in Toronto could suddenly be one of the most famous people in the world. And there it is. Successful, successfully achieved on her vision board and possibly not just her vision board but other people allegedly at uh, places like Soho House successful mission accomplished there you go outcome of this two outcomes first of all for the lawyer what's going to happen to him if anything and uh, ooh, we've got the tower in reverse uh, now this is can can go one of two ways. It could be Tower of all towers. It could be catastrophic for him uh, with a tower in reverse. It could also be that there's a recovery from a tower moment potentially in here. And the recovery would be, of course, for his client who has been through a tower moment, whose life has been utterly disrupted and who's starting to rebuild. We might have to pull a card on that. We might not, depending on this card. And this is why I wanted to read from both perspectives. This one is Megan. How is it going to go for Megan? This accusation that she is probably a sociopath. Um, what is the outcome for her? And we've got the three of cups in reverse. This is an unhappy card. It's um, disappointment, nothing to celebrate. She's not going to take this to court and win a, f a signal victory here with the three of cups in reverse. It's sorrow. It's the party's over. It's embarrassment. It's um, crying into your cups. It's retiring to bed with the baguette and the, the bottle of wine. Um, it's that kind of energy. It's disappointment. It's depression. It's being shunned by people, people who were your friends, don't want to be your friends anymore. That Knight of Wands uh, might do a bit of an Omid Scobie kind of a stunt. I'm not saying it's going to be him, but it's that kind of person, Jack Royston kind of person, someone in the media. But ultimately, she's going to be feeling very down, very sorry for herself. Again, I'm almost feeling sorry for her, but I'm not. So I get that the tower in reverse is that it means that there's going to be some sort of recovery from a tower moment. This Peter Tickton himself doesn't seem to have gone through a tower moment. So I'm speculating that it's his client who is going to be recovering from her tower moment and that she could get a boost from this at some level. And it could be quite a big boost because it is the tower card in reverse. And it could be that somehow this helps her to start rebuilding her image, um, fighting her way out of the wreckage that uh, she's uh, landed in because of what has gone on in her family. And this could be the beginning of a rebuilding phase for her and putting her life back together. I'm not saying her life is a terrible mess. Uh, don't uh, misconstrue that. I'm just saying she's been through... Some some tough times 
um, since Meghan joined the royal family. That's for sure. Um, and this could just give her a boost and help her. And I do hope for her sake that it does. So that is the reading. And uh, thanks for watching. And I'll see you again tomorrow.